Hitler, we have deliberately kept the objective of your mission a secret from even your Herr Kapitän until the last minute. But here is your goal. The Brooklyn Navy Yard. If the Nazis bomb the continental United States, it'd be a great boost to their ego. I'm gonna have to get him before he reaches the American mainland. This is American war hero, Echo Major Steve Trevor. Genuine American hero. We're gonna have to get that plane before it ever gets near the States. I nail him over the Bermuda area in that so-called Devil's Triangle. A strange area, all right. As a matter of fact, there are many uncharted islands in the Triangle. Good luck, Steve. That's what I'm going to need. Good luck and a good plane. His name is Steve Trevor, and he's attached to the Air Corps Intelligence Division of the United States. I was trying to intercept a Nazi plane. This location has always been perfect for us. In a thousand years, no one has ever discovered us. Where we could live in harmony, peace, sisterhood. I named this island Paradise for an excellent reason. There are no men on it. When I look at Steve Trevor, I feel things, things I've never known before. Ah, that man must be returned to his own country. I have planned a tournament of athletic games by which I alone shall determine the strongest, nimblest, and most likely aspirant for the assignment. Let the tournament begin. I look forward to participating in the games myself. Never. You're the princess. You've been trained to rule. And two Amazons are now tied for the honor. There is only one way to break the deadlock. Bullets and bracelets. For only women have the necessary speed and coordination to attempt bullets and bracelets without the loss of life. The task you have chosen is the most difficult sacrifice any person can make. I do it because I love my people. I love my queen. But most of all, I love my mother. You are very intelligent. I am your daughter. I would have expected nothing less from my own daughter. The colors were chosen to show your allegiance to freedom and democracy. There are many things you don't know about the world of men. There are even some women there who are less than our Amazonian ideal. I believe I can handle them, Mother. Go in peace, my daughter. And remember that in the world of ordinary mortals, you are a wonder woman. One of our young Amazon girls will escort him to his country, and then return to Paradise Island. Can I help you, please? Yes, I would like to get this patient admitted. Steve is alive. All we know is that a woman dressed in a red, white, and blue uniform got to off at the hospital. And nothing more about her? gentleman is vulnerable. Her strength and agility seem quite unusual. How strong is she? 
Retain your cunning and strength. Now we will see if Bonder Woman deserves her reputation. And those bracelets appear to have a magical power. If I told you that, it wouldn't be a secret any longer, would it? him to tell the truth. This is your golden lasso. The power to compel people to tell the truth. You must now tell the truth. Hello, Steve. How are you? He's a real soldier. Hey, he's with military intelligence. It's that big marble building at down on D Street. I have two different identities. Uh, Prince. I'm also Diana Prince. Uh, Major Trevor, this is the Yeoman First Class Diana Prince. Well, how do you like it? It's a very necessary part of my plan. It allows me to be in military intelligence where I can know immediately where I'm most needed. That must be Wonder Woman's idea. Every day. Yes. She grows more and more like her older sister. My girl. Ask the Princess Drusilla to join us. You sent for me, Your Majesty? Not as the Queen, as your mother. But it's your older sister that I wish to talk to you about. I had no idea she would become such a legend as Wonder Woman. Time that she return here and resume her duties. That's why I want you to go to the United States, to Washington, D.C., and bring Diana back here to Paradise Island. Oh. <laughs> Rude! Oh. Mother says to tell you that you spent enough time in America and you should come home to Paradise Island and start assuming your role as heiress to the throne. Drusilla, I would like for you to meet General Blankenship. And of course, you've already met Major Trevor. It's difficult to explain. The Americans are fighting a war against a monstrous evil, the Nazis. Now, if the Nazis win, 
the whole world would be subjected to slavery. If I can show you how important this is, will you explain it to Mother? Does that mean I can stay? What do you think you're doing? Get in that car, General. I got a gun on you. What did Diana do about something like this? Drew, sometimes you're so perceptive, you remind me of Mom. called you here to make sure once and for all that she is this Wonder Woman. You have these powers. I've seen you. You're super strong. You can deflect bullets. But not without my feminine bracelets. What's feminine? It's the metal that we make the bracelets from. Well, the Nazis are ordering up a land attack force. Well, right there. 3022 North, 6447 West. Take your advice. Perhaps Drusilla did go home after all. I'd like some leave. Certainly. The Nazis know about Paradise Island, and I believe that they are going to attack us. Now, what would the Nazis want with us? In my identity as Wonder Woman, they know many things about me and about the feminine bracelets. I believe it's the feminine they want. Now, stand lookout and be on guard for them. Yes, sir. Let's do everything in your power to defeat these evil men who've invaded our island. Get our bracelets back without them knowing it. How can we? Here's how I'm going to do it. Stop fighting! Stop! It. Stop. Diana, quick. The bracelets he took from our people are here in the pack. Hurry before he returns. from the Hibernian tree. The memory blocking drug. That's right. They'll remember nothing about Paradise Island. You now know what the Nazis are like. Can we afford to let them win this terrible war? Of course not. Go then. But now listen. Now the minute you finish, you're to come right back home to Paradise Island. <laughs> Yay! Steve, you were wonderful. Thank you. Very moving. You know, Edda, this picture will give a big boost to the morale of all our armed forces. It'll boost the morale of our allies, too, sir. It really is a great movie, and I'm glad I was able to see it before going home on leave. Well, at least we can all have dinner together before we go our separate ways. You're the best secretary I ever had. It'd take me weeks to replace you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The truth is, you're irreplaceable. And I don't mean just as a secretary. I really have to go now. You can't just keep walking in and out of my life like this. Who are you? Where are you from? How are you able to do it? We'll be together again. Soon. Somehow. over a thousand ships have disappeared and in this century alone over 200 planes have vanished uh, without trace without explanation yeah i'd say that's mysterious cheap superstition <laughs> my superstition dr samuels more cheap <laughs> It's Henry. 
same magnetic field now. A plane from the outside world is landing. Yes, I know. It's under our control. The last time I saw a male was, was in 1942. Steve, it can't be. You seem concerned about this man. Well, it's just that he looks exactly like someone I knew once during their Second World War. No wonder he looked familiar to you. He was named after his father, the late Major General Steve Trevor. Or is it CIA agent Trevor? <laughs> No, I'm U.S. government security, not the CIA. And please, call me Steve. He looks so much like him. I'm more interested in the reason the aircraft landed on Paradise Island. Well, the scientific council examined the data and questioned the people. The plane was to be taken over by one of them, one of the crew. The man only knows that he was to take over the plane, and then he would be instructed where to land it by an international terrorist group. Like the Nazis, 35 years ago. Maybe worse. This time, not one nation against others, but an organization trying to destroy all governments. Uh, we have to send an emissary into the outside world to investigate this threat. You? As Wonder Woman again? <laughs> You're my daughter, but I am the queen, and you must go. Sibo said that you were my new associate. I just flew in. I'm Diana Prince. You will accept her. Diana, say hello to Joe Atkinson. Joe, this is my new associate, Diana Prince. As you all know, there have been at least four very effective terrorist attacks in the past few weeks. And these have been on countries belonging to the Organization of the American States. Diana, switch this call to the monitor, please. What's up, Joe? I'm sorry to disturb you this late. I've already been disturbed. What's wrong? Two men just tried to break into my apartment. My name is Diana Prince, and I'm with the Interagency Defense Command. It's possible they're going to try to kidnap me or kill me. some sort of costume and so we fired but but she caught the bullets or deflected them or something describe this costume it was red white and blue with stars and some sort of golden belt around her waist it was wonder woman wonder woman that's right it's as much of a mystery to me as it was to my father years ago she looks the same and as you can see, the department uses only the latest and most sophisticated of computer technology. Interpret Iraq. Information retrieval associated computer. Of course. <laughs> you see what you 
get when you trust a woman? Yeah. You get the job done. You helped me out, and I appreciate it. You're everything my father said you were. Thank you, Steve. And if you ever need me, I'll appear, wherever or whenever.